Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's conversation is not for the faint of heart, and I'm telling you right now, this is gonna stir a lot of drama in the comment section, and just your overall feelings are about to get hurt. But nonetheless, it's a conversation that must take place. The title of the video tells it all. Today is gonna to be a very difficult conversation, and if you can't handle it, I suggest you click out the video starting now. So this video is dedicated to my gay Muslim brothers and sisters. I wanna start off by saying that you are clearly misunderstood. There's a struggle within you that not many will be able to understand. There's a force within you that you can't seem to control which causes you to be attracted to the same gender. Some of you hate yourself for it and some of you have accepted it as your reality. For some, maybe your parents even forced you to get married in hopes that you will become fixed. But truth be told, it only made things worse. For some of you have even thought about killing yourself and for others have succeeded to take your own life. Yet in all of this, you still believe in Allah and you still believe in His Rasul and for that, you deserve a prize. And that prize is paradise, Jannah. You see, Jannah can only be obtained when you sacrifice your desires or your nafs. When you sacrifice things that are meaningful to you for the sake of Allah, that's where the reward is. Here's an example. We all love to sleep. Then why is it that Allah placed a prayer consciously that requires you to break your sleep. We all love to eat. And why is it that for one whole month, Allah demands from us to sacrifice something that is completely halal for us just to prove to Him how much we love Him. All of these things are halal for us, yet Allah is still testing us to see are we willing to sacrifice what we love for His sake. Similarly, when we love something that goes against what Allah wants for us, that is a personal jihad. And I'm here to tell you right now, we all have our own personal jihads that we are dealing with. It is a battle of our desires versus the pleasure of Allah. Some people's battles or personal jihads is drugs. For some, it's pornography. For some, it's lying or even stealing. For others, it's zina. And for you, your struggle is being attracted to the same gender. This life is a test, yet this test is not only simple and straightforward, yet the most complicated and difficult at the very same time. The test is simple. Allah is asking, will my slave, will my servant sacrifice their desires that do not align with what I want for them for my sake or will they succumb to their desires? Will my servant and slave love their desires more than they love pleasing me? That's the test. Will my servant and slave love their desires and pleasing themselves more than love what I want from them and pleasing me? Will they prioritize my pleasure first or their own? And that's the test that we all are struggling with. I know you don't feel like you've chosen this struggle and I'm with you on that, but I wanna let you know something. Choosing to obey Allah or disobey Him is your choice. I know you feel like Allah has made you this way, but I'm telling you right now that Allah made you this way to test you and see if you will obey Him or not. Will you fall into the haram that He's made impermissible for you, or will you avoid these things and expect a massive reward that only He can satisfy you with? Will you succumb to a desire that you have within you, that you feel is innate and placed within you, or will you sacrifice that desire and expect a full reward from Allah in return getting paradise in which you can have whoever, however, and whatever you want when it comes to Jannah. Allah wants to see, will you follow that innate desire that you have being attracted to the same gender, knowing that that's not what Allah wants from you? Are you willing to sacrifice that for His sake in this dunya, which is only temporary, so that you can receive a huge, immense reward in terms of paradise, lofty ranks in paradise, for the sacrifices that you've made for His sake by committing a personal jihad against yourself, your nafs, your desires, 
only for the pleasure of Allah. Allah, you knew that I was attracted and how you've made me. Yet Allah, I sacrificed for only your sake. And Allah, I expect a reward of paradise from you, Allah. That is your decision that you have to make. That is your choice. Well, Jazakallah khair for watching, guys. For those of you who this message was directed to, I hope it helped you, maybe relieved you, maybe put things in perspective for you. For those of you who were just watching for the sake of watching, I hope you were able to see the message behind this and the wisdom behind this message as well. If you are new to this channel, please make sure that you consider subscribing by hitting this button right here. Take a look at my last videos by hitting this video right here. And of course, give this video a thumbs up so that more people can benefit from this video. And until next time, I'm out.